Now, uh, let us talk about uh, distance uh, time graph. Now, let us consider this example of a cyclist who goes shopping and returns home. Now, we have these questions. Calculate the cyclist's uh, speed uh, on the outward journey. The cyclist speed on the outward journey then time taken at the shopping center then question C total distance traveled then D the average speed for the whole journey just a reminder in terms of a distant time graph the gradient the slope gradient is equal to speed or velocity just like uh, what we did in terms of a displacement displacement uh, time graph so now to attempt the first question we have to know that we are given here is time in hours time in hours right and we are given distance in kilometers so the distance uh, from home to the shopping center is what the distance from home to the shopping center here is the shopping center here is home the distance is 36 kilometers now and again the distance from the shopping center uh, to the cyclist home is 36 uh, kilometers so in terms of this question the cyclist speed on the outward journey outward journey it means the journey to the uh, destination the journey to uh, the shopping center so it means the speed in terms of the the, the speed uh, on the outward journey it means the speed of the cyclist when he or she was going to the shopping center so we want to calculate the speed here what is the speed the formula for speed we know that in terms of a speed is equal to distance over time so this is equal to what is the distance traveled 36 kilometers what is the time taken what was the time taken zero to three hours it means uh, the cyclist took three hours to reach uh, the shopping center so we say 36 kilometers over three uh over three hours and this will give us 12 kilometers per hour because if we say three into 36 we get 12 kilometers per hour so this is the answer for part a remember that the outward journey is the journey to the destination so in this case uh, the journey from home to the shopping center now in terms of part b time taken at the shopping center when the distance is not changing it means that uh, the object or the person is not moving so where the distance is not uh, changing where the distance is constant it means that uh, this is where the cyclist was at the shopping center he was not moving in terms of uh, cycling the uh, bicycle so in terms of time taken we consider Here we have three. Here we have five. 
So we just say 5 hours minus 3 hours. So our answer here is equal to our answer here is equal to 2 hours. That was the time taken at the shopping center. Now, part C, total distance traveled. The cyclist uh, traveled 36 kilometers to the shopping center and 36 kilometers from the shopping center. So what was the total distance traveled? We just add 36 of the outward journey plus 36 of this journey. So total distance traveled part C is equal to 72 kilometers. 72 kilometers. You just add 36 from home to shopping center, then from shopping center to home. 36 plus 36, we get 72. Now, the last question. The average speed for the whole gen. Always know that the formula for the average speed is total distance traveled over time taken. What was the total distance travel? It's 72. What was the time taken? We consider the time taken for the whole journey. It's 8 hours. So, in terms of D, we say 72 uh, kilometers over 8 hours. And we get 9 kilometers per hour this is what we do in terms of a distance time graph please take note of this the area under a distance time graph or a displacement time graph is meaningless take note of this average speed we just say total distance traveled over time taken the total distance travel we've said we just ate uh, the distance from home to the shopping center, which is 36, and from the shopping center to home. And 36 again. So 36 plus 36 is 72. Right. Now let us consider the second part of distance time graph. Sometimes we may be given uh, information, then asked to draw a distance time graph. For example, let us consider this example. Using a car, Tendai departed from the Tito Growth Point at uh, 7 a.m. He arrived at Mount Darwin Pacheco Hardway at 7.30 a.m. After carrying out his activities while parking for an hour, he started his journey returning to the Tito Growth Point. He arrived at the Tito Growth Point at 9.30 a.m. And take note of this. The distance between Mount Darwin and the is uh, 28 kilometers. And the assumption here is that Tendai was moving at a constant speed when he was going to Mount Darwin and also when he was returning to Mount Darwin. So we want to illustrate this information uh, on a distance time graph this is uh, how you do it now first of all we are given uh, time and we know that the distance is 28 kilometers distance from Mount Darwin to Dotito now just to do this on the vertical axis must have the distance always. So in this case, in terms of kilometers, now on the horizontal axis, we must have time. Now, in terms of uh, the information, the first line of this uh, paragraph, using a car, Tendai departed from the Tito growth point at 10 a.m. So we can write, sorry, 
using a car Tendai departed from Dotito Growth Point at 7 a.m. 7, so we can write 7 here. 7 o'clock a.m. A.m. And we know that from here we can say uh, Dotito Growth Point and here we can indicate that it's Mandarin Pachedo Hardware. Pachedo Hardware. So, from Dotito to Pachedo Hardware in Mount Darwin, 28 kilometers at this point. It's 28. Now, uh, the next sentence, he arrived uh, at Mount Darwin Pachedo Hardware at 7.30 a.m. So we write 7.30 a.m. Time of arrival. So, must know that the point here must be in the same line with 28. So that we have to draw a straight line which indicates that he was moving at a constant speed. Draw a straight line here. And remember, the slope of the line indicates that... Uh, in this case, uh, we have the we have a constant gradient, so it means that he was moving at a constant speed. The gradient of a displacement time graph represents the speed. So this is how you do it on the first part. So we are told that after carrying out his activities while packing for an hour, so. In terms of parking, we know that uh, the car is not moving. So, the distance is uh, constant. So, we must have a straight line up to 8.30. Because from 7.30 to 8.30, uh, that's where we get an hour. So, we must draw a straight line. From 7.30 mm -hmm. From 7.30 to 8.30 To indicate that at this uh, time interval uh, He was carrying out his activities while packing for an hour. Then uh, we are told that after carrying out his activities while packing for an hour, he started his journey returning to Dotito Growth Point. Last statement he arrived at Dotito Growth Point uh, at 9 30 a.m. So Okay, right 9.30 here. This is time. So again, assuming that he was moving at a constant speed, we just have to draw a straight line, which indicates that the gradient is constant. Right. This is how you draw a distance time graph so we can be asked to find the speed the average speed when uh, Tendai was uh, traveling from the Tito growth point to Mount Darwin so in terms of the average speed when Tendai was traveling from the Tito growth point to uh, Mount Darwin Pachedo Hardware. We just say we know that the formula for average speed is total distance traveled over time taken. What was the total distance traveled? Is 28 kilometers over. What was the time taken in this case? 
7 30 a.m minus 7 o'clock we get 30 minutes and 30 minutes is in half it's half of an hour so 30 minutes please take note and be 30 minutes is equal to 0 0,5 hours so we divide by 0 0,5 hours if we want our answer to be in kilometers per hour so 28 over 0 0,5 we will get uh, 56 kilometers per hour now in terms of the average speed for the whole journey we know that from Dotito to Mount Darwe is 28 kilometers and from Mount Darwe to Dotito is 28 so the distance traveled for the whole journey is 56 kilometers and what was the time taken from 7 a.m. to 9.30? We have two and a half hours. So we divide uh, 56 by 2,5 hours. And we get, we must get 22,4 kilometers per hour. That was the average speed for the war. Chain. So that's how we uh, draw a distance triangle graph and that's how we can uh, calculate the average speed in terms of uh, when Tendai was uh, traveling from Dotito to Mount Darwin, then the average speed for the whole journey. Thank you.